I usually clown a little bit, but yeah, not this time. We're just gonna get right into it. As y'all probably peeped by the thumbnail, this video was inspired by all these character trailers that we're getting for Tekken 8. Now, for those of y'all who don't know or are new to the channel, your boy is a big Tekken player. I've mentioned it a few times and I haven't really made a lot of videos on it so it'd be hard for you to tell by just looking at the videos from my channel. But on the technicality, when I was first learning how to upload videos to YouTube, I used Tekken clips. Now some 10 or maybe 15 seconds ago I told you that this vid was inspired by all the character trailers, but I should narrow it down and tell you that more specifically, the Law trailer, because he's my main character. But also the Jin trailer, because he's my second main character. Or the Kazuya trailer, because he's my third main character. The point is, this vid wasn't inspired by the Nina or the King trailer, because I hate them. With a passion. And for the purposes of this vid, we're gonna go off the Law trailer. Surprise, surprise. First, let's talk about the new ways it seems like you juggle mixed in with what I think are the new rage animations. Now, in Tekken, we've always had rage, which of course gets triggered once you've lost a certain amount of health. Now, prior to Tekken 7, all the rage did was make your hits counters and make you do a little bit more damage, which is helpful in the heat of battle, no doubt. But in Tekken 7, we could see that they wanted to push that further with the rage, so they added the rage drive and the rage art. Which I ain't gonna lie, I'm not the biggest fan of the rage art, but you know, hey, me I guess. Point is, what if I told y'all that I think they were trying to push that even further for Tekken 8? At the end of each trailer, we saw that the rage art is coming back, and we've seen a couple of rage drive situations going on as well. And what if, and y'all can quote me on this, they added something called a rage charge? Now first of all, only quote me on this if it's correct. If not, pretend I never said it. Now if you don't know what that is, um, it's this, right here. That is. For the purposes of this vid, we're gonna call out a rage charge. Now the question I have is, do we now get a rage meter? If so, how does it work? Is it like two rage charges equals a full meter and one rage drive and one rage charge equals the full meter? Or one rage art equals the full meter? which would mean two rage charges and one rage charge plus one rage drive all equal one rage art because they all equal the full meter? Per play? Nah, y'all took algebra. All that being said, I'm kind of curious. And that just dawned on me. That would mean that one rage drive would equal one rage charge, but I feel as though a rage drive should be counted for more than a rage charge. And by counting more, I just mean a rage drive to use up more meter than a rage charge. Mostly because a rage drive actually does damage to the opponent. Or the rage charge is like a bridge into doing more damage. You feel me? And regardless of all that, I can't wait till we get some more info and see if what I'm thinking is true. Or if I'm just lying to y'all. In which I apologize in advance. Please don't have trust issues. I know Ava. I have some explaining to do. Next up, we gotta talk about some of the new combos. Now in these character trailers, they showcased a few new combos for each one of our characters, and they were pretty lit. But I will say, I hate the way they mapped out the controls for fighting game controllers. It makes no sense. It's like they decided to start to go clockwise and then started it over. Basically, for those y'all who don't know what I mean, because I didn't really know what I meant until I looked it up again, was that they went left, right, left, right. So the left arm or left punch is square, and that's one. The right arm or right punch is triangle. So that's two. The left kick or left leg is X, so that's three. And the right kick or right leg is circle, which is four. I hate it. And maybe maybe saying I hate it is a little strong. You know what I'm saying? Because I get it. They're talking about this is how they had it when it was in the arcades. And they just decided to put that as the face buttons. But my point is, I still don't understand why you wouldn't just do it clockwise. Like, why not just go one, two, three, four in a clockwise situation where square is one, triangle is two, circle is three, and X is four. If, if you're going to do it like that. I just... I just don't know why. But maybe y'all like the way they have it better than I do. Honestly, it would've even made more sense if they made it left side, right side. Like, square and X are one and two, and triangle and circle are three and four. But whatever, I digress. Point is, new combos look fire. No bull. Now before I start talking about the new combos that we've seen in the law trailer, let me give you a little disclaimer, which would be one, that all is just speculation. I don't know if this is actually the truth or not. And two, everything with the nunchucks is new because we ain't had that before and i'll go over those in the tekken 7 tekken 8 trailer comparison situation so the nunchuck stuff and the heat action stuff we'll go over later the heat the heat action stuff is like that running forward stuff where it looks like they kind of got this smoke colorful smoke around their limbs that is 
that is such a Yakuza thing, it's not even funny. But we'll get into that later. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna describe these combos using both the names and the numbers. So just bear with me. Our first new combo looks like it's a three, then one, then going into the DSS, which is the dragon sign stance for law, and then square again. So square being one, so it's really X, then one, dragon sign stance, then square. That's what the first one looks like. And the next one isn't really a new combo, it just looks like it has a new animation. And that's bat plus two, or triangle, and then square, or one. And I'm tagging seven, it looked like this. And then tagging eight trailer, it sends you up in the air. Now it could also be bat plus triangle, and then up plus square, but you know, we'll wait for the game to come out before we uh, confirm that. And next up, is the Perry. I, I I don't I don't know the controls for that. But I just wanted to point out how sexy it was. No bull. I mean we had a basic Perry with everybody that was a low one and a high one. And we had the fake step with Bob, but we never had a Perry that was this clean. That's just beautiful. Now the fourth new move that I saw or peeped that I think y'all did too was what looks like could be a forward forward circle. Now we always had a forward forward X and that's back as we've seen earlier in the trailer. Not to mention after the DSS and a couple of the combos. But we never had a forward forward circle and that jungle like is going to be real handy. Or come in handy I should say. Now the next move is the circle plus X and then it looks like you can go on the DSS which again is dragon sign stance and then circle again what it looks like it's possible that it's circle plus x and then forward circle without dss but um i doubt it now the six little move i peep was a sidestep and then what looks like a down plus x to dss and then square now in the trailer it was a sidestep and it was also a counter hit now i'm not sure if either one of those are mandatory to complete this combo but maybe but also maybe not now the second to last one looks like it's a x and then square going into dss and then a forward square which seems kind of tough. And the last one looks like the up plus right plus X situation. The spin kick that goes into the dragon charge that I was talking about earlier. That jump spin kick, that jump looks crazy as hell. And I'm thinking those are the combos, but you know, maybe there is a different combination of buttons. I, I don't know yet. We will find out. But yeah, y'all, other than those few moves, everything else Law pretty much had in his arsenal. Again, not counting the nunchucks or the heat actions. You know, those are some new stuff that seems like it's going to be unique to Tekken 8. But other than that, I mean, that's all I really have for y'all today. I appreciate y'all for watching this. For my Tekken fans, y'all let me know if you think I got it right in the comments. And for those who are just watching just for the support, I love y'all so much. All of y'all. And I appreciate it. And I'm going to have a new vid where I'll probably do some combos of what Law's Tekken 7 combos would look like versus the Tekken 8 trailer. I might do one with Jin and Kazuya, but Jin's got a lot of new-ish. And Kazuya also has some new stuff that I, you know, I have to just try and figure those combos out and see if I can do the trailers the same way I'm gonna do the long ones. But I'm gonna catch y'all in the next vid, alright? I love y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next vid, alright? Peace. Can you play that again?